Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Um, in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what are your person's thoughts and feelings about you right now. It is going to be a love message and a general one at that, so please keep that in mind. It may not resonate with everyone watching. You'll know it's your reading if the messages resonate with you and if you can connect to them in some way. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Email is going to be listed below the video. Wow, he's got a lot of major arm cuts here. And at the bottom of the deck, another major arm, the Judgment card. It feels as though whoever this person is, obviously is... Um, this is a very powerful connection. This is someone who... This is someone who feels very strongly about you. The Wheel of Fortune, this person believes that you are destined for them. This is someone who believes that you are possibly their soulmate. Someone whom they feel very spiritually and very uh, closely connected to you. Um, even if this person didn't necessarily believe in soulmates until you came along, You've proved them otherwise. They started. You've turned them into a believer. They have definitely started believing in, um, in you know, in fate, in destiny, in soulmates, soul contracts. They feel like it was destiny that the two of you met and the two of you crossed paths. They felt that um, there is something very special, something very fated and very destined about this connection and um, especially about the circumstances in which you met it also appears as though this person met you at a time in their life when they were going through some major transformation or some major changes or perhaps this is you you've met this individual um, at a point in your life where you were going through some really big transformations you were going through some big changes maybe even tower moments this person feels like a new chapter in your life this person feels like um, someone whom definitely like someone who was destined for you someone whom you're destined to cross paths with and it feels as though this person was in your destiny like this person was written in your destiny there's definitely something very special about this connection something that um, something that is going to open you up to um, and allow you to have access to like a newer a newer version of yourself maybe a version of yourself that you haven't necessarily shown to other people it's also um, quite interesting that just just about the timing that you met this person and all the different things that your life is like all the different um, changes that have happened or there was definitely in particular some really big change uh, which has happened around the time that you've connected with this person or perhaps shortly after you've met this person, you've noticed that all these different changes started happening with you internally and externally. I definitely feel as though this person had something to do with it. Uh, this person feels, if this is someone whom you've had a tower moment with, if this is someone whom you, you feel a very strong, intense connection with this person, and um, because it's so intense, it's also quite overwhelming and because it's so overwhelming you may be going through um, a tower moment but you might be going through a separation something he has something he has wedged a distance between you and this person it's caused you to uh, separate it's caused a no contact no communication uh, period or it's caused the two of you to both pull apart the universe will bring you back together again okay your crowd your your paths will cross again, is what I've been trying to, is what I wanted to say. Your paths will cross again, even if you are in a no, like a no communication 
uh, no contact phase of a relationship if this is a long distance relationship because some of you are doing this long distance you've met this person online you've connected with them online and you're doing it uh, long distance then I definitely feel like you will have an opportunity to see each other once again to cross paths uh, with one another it feels as though right now if you guys are in a no contact no separation uh, period of this connection then it feels like this person is really they're being hard on themselves I feel like they're really going back and in like in their mind they're really going over the things that they said the text messages they sent you the way in which they said things the way in which they could have said things differently or the way in which they could have done things differently they're being really hard on themselves um, they're also taking the time to reflect reflect how they came across and the role they played in the separation or in this breakup the tower moment, although it appears uh, quite a frightening and quite a scary experience, and although it feels like this is it, this is the end, the tower moment, in fact, is an opportunity for you to rebuild the foundational structure on which this relationship or which this connection was built upon in the first place. So it's an opportunity. So maybe somewhere along the way, the foundational structure, you know, it, it, was not as sturdy, is, is not as healthy, is not as strong or as sturdy as it was when you first built this relationship. And it's eroded due to wear and tear. Over time, it's eroded. You've now been given an opportunity to rebuild, rebuild that foundational structure, to restructure things. Um, and, it feel, and it appears as though you will be getting a second chance with this person. They, it does feel like there's uh, an opportunity for a reconciliation, a reconnection for the two of you to rebuild this. If, however, this isn't a past person, if this isn't a past energy, um, if, if it's a new energy, then it does feel like this person or perhaps the person that I'm connecting to right now has gone through something like through some big, massive changes in their life. Changes that almost feel like kind of like shattering changes that feel really big cataclysmic here and i also feel like maybe over the last couple of years this person has really stripped away layers or things from their life that they feel like no longer serves them or that they feel like no lo they no longer need this could be this could be friendship connections it could be uh habits it could be patterns it just feels like this person is shedding layers um, and they've gone they may have also gone through a recent or maybe not even a recent but a very turbulent breakup and this is something that has impacted them greatly but it's something that even though it's caused them a lot of pain and it's caused them a lot of discomfort and it feels like they've got their the rug pulled right from underneath them or perhaps this is you it, it's been such a huge learning experience and during the, these years or these months or moments they've learned so much about themselves and about people around them and the world around them they've learned a lot from this painful experience especially this painful tower experience there's a lot of movement indicated in the energies here and maybe this is someone you know that you are doing long distance with maybe this is someone who is a bit of a globe trotter, someone who likes to travel, someone who's quite well cultured. Maybe the person that I'm connecting to, that I'm speaking to right now, maybe you've done a lot of traveling or you will be traveling in the future. You'll be doing a lot more traveling in the future because I feel like there's a lot of movement here. Um, if this is long distance, then I feel like this person in the future, this person intends on traveling to. Um, traveling to see you, traveling to meet your friends, to meet your family. Um, I also feel like this person really wants to fit in, wants to fit into your world, wants to play a very important role in your life. This person also can see that you easily will fit into theirs. There is something here maybe about some sort of cultural or spiritual or religious differences that might worry this person and they may feel like that could hinder the relationship or the connection in any way 
um, but this person this person is definitely wanting to work through those and work together how they see you um, is so, as someone who's very someone who's quite mature someone who's very hardworking someone very focused um, they also see that you're quite um, you're quite an expert in your field whatever it is that you do this person feels like you're very knowledgeable you're very skillful you're very talented um, you're very dedicated and you're very committed and this person really likes those qualities um, about you they also can feel that you've had a lot of life experience they can feel that you've had a lot of like they say a smooth sea never makes a skilled sailor right so they feel I don't know if this is because you've shared this with them or they can just pick it up from your aura and your energy but they can feel that you're, you've, you are someone who's been through a lot and you have a lot of life experiences and you've picked up a lot of life lessons along the way and they just you come across as someone who's quite um, intelligent someone who's quite mature someone who's quite very cultured someone who's just who understands people If this is a new connection like a new energy entirely then i feel like you are going to be building a future with this person okay you are going to be building a life building a home building a future with this person if even if this is a past energy i feel like you will get a chance to rebuild things um, and rebuild the connection but this time the foundational structure is more sturdier okay it's more healthier and you have the advantage of knowing what didn't work out in the past right you have the advantage of knowing that hey this didn't work out we won't do things like that we'll do things differently this is definitely someone i think that you're going to be traveling with a lot or someone whom you're going to i feel like this person is going to be a very big part of your journey especially your next chapter the next chapter the next cycle that you're in because to the person that I am connecting to, I do think that either you're on the precipice of some really big, massive, like cataclysmic changes. And don't worry, these don't have to be negative. I know there's a lot of negative associations with the Tower card, but this is just something, I feel like this is something that's so life-changing. And sometimes when we're stuck in our ways, the universe creates situations or circumstances that are just so uncomfortable that we have no other chance no other choice but to get up and move and get up and go and get going and for some of you you're going to be experiencing some of that especially for those of you that are a little stuck in your ways or you're a little resistant to some of these changes which are waiting for you and this person this person that you're connected to is so much um in such a big way there's such a, a big part of these changes for you. I do think that this is someone whom you're going to build a home with, build a life with, and build a future with. Um, there's something about architecture, so I don't know if there's an if they're an architect or a designer, interior designer, or if this is someone like you and this person are going to be the architects of your future, like you're building things, right? And I think even as I do this reading, you're also in your mind, you like you have these visions of what your future looks like with this person and you know just how well your energies play with each other but this person does feel like you've there's something different about you and you've awoken something in them i feel like the feelings that they feel for you are very powerful and very overwhelming so much so that they may not have felt this way about anyone else before so you're definitely, you know, you've definitely caught their attention. If anything, I feel like this person wants more of your attention. Um, they want more of your attention, uh, more of your energy. I also feel like this person is working really hard to impress you or maybe working really hard to get you to, uh, to notice them. They feel like since they've met you, I feel like this person hasn't been able to stop thinking about you and they just feel like they they feel jolted they feel like jolted awake in a way because they feel like 
before you they've just sort of been half asleep and since they've met you they feel just invigorated and really awake and just really aware of their emotions and just what they're feeling so this person definitely feels like the two of you have also chemistry and that chemistry right it's like a charge of electricity they feel like it's very palpable they feel like people can notice it and they do when you're in a room together with this person people can tell that the both of you you know you you share something you have something because that chemistry is intense as it is palpable okay guys and these are your messages thanks for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now